What's up people, this is Miss Dynamite and you're watching Toasted, keep it locked. It's freezing Miss Dynamite, welcome. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Nobody knew it was so cold in Serbia. No, it's freezing, it is so cold. <laughs> have you been here before actually? I have been here before, yeah. Yeah, I think, was it last year, maybe the year before. What do you, think, yeah. what do you think of this festival? Yeah, it's lovely, I love it. Like The energy is just so, like, and it's big as well, and there's lots of different types and different styles of like people, so yeah, it's cool. I see you, you play a lot, uh, and, uh, lots of collabs as well, which made me wonder, Will there be a new album by yourself? Because the collabs are fantastic, but we are waiting for your music. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, definitely. I'm literally finishing an album as we speak. So uh, I wouldn't like to put any dates on it, as I have, you know. I, 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 have a ver I have a tendency to be quite a perfectionist, but it's definitely on its way. Yeah. So how many tracks? So, uh, do you have any titles yet? What's it going to be like? Well, the title. Famous collabs. Um, the title of the album. Uh, in fact, I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it under wraps. I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna you were on the verge of dropping it. <laughs> I was, but um. You won't tell anyone. It's gonna be. It's gonna be. What I can tell you, it's going to be a uh, music from the heart, and it's gonna be a, a real mixture of different types of music. Yeah, but that's <laughs> always the case with you. Your music is always from the heart. It's always a mixture. <laughs> Oh, so he's like, you're not really telling me anything. Exactly. Um, what else could I tell you? Who's working on it? When did you start writing the songs? I mean. Okay, so I started um, quite a while ago, to be honest, because I, I've, I've done different types of music over the years where I've started doing electronic, then I started to do a bit more soulful, and I've kind of jumped between the two for a long time. But I still have a lot of music that I did a long time ago that I love. So it's about revamping that and kind of making it, you know, giving it a little bit of a fresh feel. Um, collaborations, I'll say one of the people, one of the people that I have been working with is Stephen McGregor, um, who I love, you know, who I love. Uh, there's, there's, yeah, there's a few others, but until things are confirmed, I don't really like to, you know, put it out there. But yeah. Well, people are very, well, anxious. They want to know what you're going to do. They want to know yeah. what the music. I mean, yeah. you have done so many great collabs. There must be like some great people that you work with. I mean, Goldie, for instance, or yeah. Elephant, or yeah, Skepta. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I love working. Goldie's amazing. You know. Yeah, he, he, you got this MBE. What about that? Yeah, yeah. No, it is amazing. Do you know what? he's such a lovely person he's so energetic and he's really one of those people that speaks their minds and I, and I like that I like when people you know where you stand you know you know you're getting the real deal with them he is is that through and through and through so yeah I love him love him to bits well, you're 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 the same I mean you also tell it like it is what you think it is <laughs> and it always that always didn't work out well I mean it must you, you saw the upside you saw the downsides and you're still here, so it must be tough, right? Um, not really. For me, I feel like I feel like knowing what I know now, it's harder for me to not be myself. You know, I just go with the flow. Really, people are gonna like it. People are gonna not like it. You just kind of got to go with what's right for you, and deal with everything else afterwards. Really. What I loved about um, your Instagram, your Facebook, and I've, of course I've been delving through it. And <laughs> what I loved about it is that you post a lot of wisdoms and quotes that you loved yourself. Well, where did you get those? Um, they're just usually things that I find that maybe inspire me. I'm I'm really into obviously like positivity, and I'm very. Um, committed to to sharing things that inspire me and that may possibly help to inspire others um, I feel like I'm just about self-expression you know I express kind of what's within uh, you know in a, in a hope and a belief that we as a people like in general I mean as a, as human beings will raise our vibration you know for people to just be I guess happier, healthier, you know, all that kind of good stuff. <laughs> There's a lot going on in the world, especially uh, politically. Um, 
I would always say a schism between the old and the new, old people and the young people, the conservative and the, and the liberal people. Uh, there's this Brexit, of course, which is massive. What is your opinion on that? Um, I feel like I feel like in terms of politics, politics. I feel like I leave that to the politicians and my emotions and feelings about social issues, I feel that I'll put them out, you know, through my music and through my, my the way that I express, which is through art. Um, so yeah, I kind of I kind of leave it at that, yeah. It's also politics, right? I mean, you have a strong strong opinion. Yeah, I have I have strong opinions definitely, but I also am very aware of of the vibration of you know the way we speak and the things we give our focus and our energy to is it's, that's important to me so i always want that to be you know what i'm giving my my opinions or my attention to to be of the highest vibration and of the highest quality um so that's kind of where i'm at you know we were you're about to go on stage mm -hmm. uh here in serbia you're about to go on stage yeah. um you warm up soon, I hope. Yeah. Uh, what, what do you expect? Because there's a massive crowd here. Uh, just loads of energy. I'm sure there'll be loads of energy, really positive, and just yeah, that's it. Just just lots of energy. Hey, uh, the album will be out soon, I hope. Will there yeah. be vinyl as well? Definitely, we have to do that. Definitely. And another thing that struck me, this is the last one. Uh, we went to a festival. We we do film festivals all over the world, and we went to a festival in Amsterdam called Pitch Festival. And I don't know if you heard about it, but it was amazing. Um, and I'm an old jungle fan. Okay. And it struck me, I was walking around there, probably the oldest one around. Okay. And I said, well, this is not new music. This is drum and bass. Yeah, 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 it's yeah. full on back. Yeah, 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 definitely. Do you know what? It's interesting that you say that because I have one of my brothers, one of my many brothers is a drum and bass DJ and he's Eight, 19 in fact 19 he's gonna be yeah I was like Ugh. only because it's his birthday that's why I was like Ugh. but it's yeah it's so crazy that his passion and then I and then I feel like so long ago I was listening to like the same kind of music and it's just it's mad that it's done like full circle I don't feel like it really went anywhere but it's kind of making its way back to like the forefront again so yeah that's it's good it's good Hey, uh, do you have any release dates yet? I mean, do you think it will be this year your album? Mm, probably not. Okay. But no, no release dates. But yeah, probably not this year. So we have to hang in there and yeah, in the meantime, watch your life. Definitely next year. Yeah, 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 for sure. Thanks so much for your time. Thank you. Take care.